Hi, welcome to this episode. I am going to have another look at the z-axis of my CNC router. Now, last time I measured a bit much flex, too much flex, of the whole gantry. And a lot of you commented that a stiffener plate for the z-axis might make a positive impact. So I went online for inspiration. I found this on the Zorotec webpage. I like this bridge design right here. And it also captures the plate z-plate actually here on the back um, made this let's install it see if it makes a difference my material is marked i have a clamp and also safety glasses and hearing protection so let's see if we can get this cut Okay, well, that worked. Let's have a look. Nice, very nice, very nice. Finishing, I've selected an Alu Power one quarter inch three flute bit, and this surface here looks really nice. Of course, we have the marks here from the adaptive cleaning. Roughing tool pass that is normal. Um, the step over here will be five hundredths of a millimeter, so it's just going to be a nice touch-up finishing pass. Let's see how that goes. So I'm absolutely happy with the surface finish of this side right here. However, here there are some tool marks still from the prior operation. And for this go around in this part, I'm gonna leave it that way, but um, I will make an adjustment for the depth of cut for the finishing pass for the next part. The next step we're cleaning out a 14.5 millimeter hole for the screw head and I'm going to use the 4.5 millimeter Daytron bit for that. That worked out well. Now there is Ten and a half millimeter left to go all the way through the material with a diameter of 8.3 millimeter for the M8 fastener to fit through. And that's the reason why I also pre-drilled because that is going to be a bit of a challenge for the chip evacuation and I don't want to break the end mill. Okay, that's next. Okay, so for the installation of this, I have measured the thickness of this plate using a micrometer and I gave it only two hundredths of a millimeter more for the slot in the back that will basically engage the entire plate. Now, 
I don't think that that plate is that accurate throughout its length. I mean, I measure it on several different spots, but I might have a problem here installing it and I hope I can get it installed. So let's see. In principle, it should just give us a really, really tight fit. Possibly not fit at all. Can't get it on there. That would be bad. Maybe. So both of the plates are installed now and the project came out great. As far as the deflection of my machine, well, you know, going into this, I knew that there wasn't all that much to gain and truth is I gained one one hundredth of a millimeter. Many of you had a positive experience installing those Z-axis stiffener plates and on my machine it didn't make that much of a difference. Now, before I do any other measurements, um, I have done a bit of a survey on the machine itself, going on the hunt for the deflection. And I have to tell you that the entire gantry actually, the entire gantry tips forward when I lean on it or when I pull it. And the reason for that is the high wind linear rails, actually the guide is worn out and it lost its preload. Now, if you slide them by hand, there's nothing that you can feel, but I need to reball these and I've ordered the balls already from Baltech. And in the next video, I'm going to install them. And well, then I will do a measurement and I hope that it has a positive result on the overall deflection that we see on the machine. Okay. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Bye.